everyone welcome back to my kitchen and today's recipe we're going to make this very popular chicken biryani so if you want to learn about this recipe just keep on watching First, we're going to make our own garam masala for our biryani. You can also buy garam masala in some grocery stores, but since all of these spices are available in my kitchen, then I make my own garam masala. We're just going to grind all of these spices into powder. After grinding, your garam masala should look like this, and then it's ready to use. Meanwhile, heat the oil in a large bottom saucepan. And then we are going to fry our sliced onions, stirring frequently for even cooking until deep golden brown for about 10 to 12 minutes. Our onions is ready, we're going to transfer this in a plate and then set aside. The same pot that we fried our onions. We will be also frying our chopped potatoes until golden brown. Our potatoes is done. We will just be setting this aside. And then we will prepare our chicken for marinade. Now, we are going to marinate our chicken. Just put the ginger garlic paste. Onions that we just fried a while ago. Yogurt. Lemon juice. And then one teaspoon of our garam masala. If you don't know how to make this garam masala, you can buy this garam masala in some grocery stores. Now, turmeric powder. Kashmiri chili powder. Or you can use chili powder also. Just give that a nice mix until all our chicken is fully coated. We will also be adding some salt according to your taste. Just 
continue mixing until all the chicken is fully coated and then let it set for about 1 hour. In the vessel, just heat the oil and then add our marinated chicken. We will be cooking this in a high flame for about 10 minutes. Then after 10 minutes, just slow your flame and then cover your pot. This time our chicken is already boiling. Just continue simmering this chicken. And then now we are going to prepare our basmati rice. Now I have this basmati rice that I just soaked a while ago. I just added water into it. Five pieces of cloves. Two pieces of cardamom seeds. And then uh, one tablespoon of oil. We will bring this water into a boil. When the water starts boiling, just cook the rice for about 6 to 7 minutes until it is 3 for done. Strain the rice completely and rest the strained rice aside. Just like this. Now our chicken is less water in it, then we will add our potatoes. Some people are not adding potatoes in their biryani, but for me, it must be better taste if we add fried potatoes in our biryani. Just taste the sauce of your chicken. If you find it less salt, then you can add more according to your taste. Let's just continue simmering this chicken for about 2-3 to three minutes and then we will be ready to layer our chicken biryani. Now we will be layering our biryani with a deep or wide heavy bottom pan on high for 40 seconds and then turn off. And then put melted butter at the bottom and edges of the pan. Add some rice to just cover that base of your pan, just like this. Then add a layer of our chicken. Then again, add some rice to just cover that topping, just like this. Then again, put your melted butter over your rice. And then add a pinch of your garam masala that we just made. And then this garam masala guys, you can store it and you can use it if you want to make an, again biryani or pulao. And then this saffron with milk that we, I just made, but this is optional if you don't want to put saffron with milk, just to give orange color to our rice. Sprinkle our fried onions, just like so. Coriander leaves and then chop mint leaves also
and then put all the remaining chicken on top of the rice just spreading it evenly all over the top so all the rice will have those sauce of your chicken just like this and for the last layer you can put all the remaining rice spreading it evenly to cover those chickens Then again, our remaining melted butter. Pinch of our garam masala. Fried onion. You can also put cashew or raisin if you have and then this melt with saffron again this is optional if you don't want it's okay you can skip that also and then of course our coriander leaves and then the mint leaves And then after putting those garnishes and everything on top of your rice, we will put the lid on of this and then we will be slow cooking this for a very very low heat for about 5 to 7 minutes only. And then your biryani is ready to go. So now it's time to serve our chicken biryani. To serve, just cook from one side. No mixing needed for this layered biryani. I use this Pyrex to serve our biryani. If you want to use another plate, it's up to you guys. course garnish with those remaining chopped mint leaves coriander leaves and fried onions and then your biryani is ready to eat come on let's eat guys and again thank you so much for watching guys and i hope you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell below for more upcoming videos Thank you and God bless you all. See you again on my next video. Bye!